Hi, Bernard. Okay, we'll get started in just a minute, everybody, um, just so we can uh, wait for anybody else that's joining in. All righty. So today we're going to learn how to sync our Facebook business page along with uh, posting effective Facebook ads. So <clears throat> we're logged in here, as you can see on my screen, to the uh, home page of Command. And we are going to uh, first go over how to set up a Facebook business page. So uh, it's pretty easy to do. Facebook has made it uh, relatively easy to follow these steps. Uh, and if you go to facebook.com slash business slash pages slash setup, you can go here and create a business page in minutes. And so, hi, Lynette, how are you? Morning, how are you? Good. So I just started. No, you're, you're perfect timing. Okay. So I'm just talking about here how we can create a Facebook business page. That's the first step, right, before we sync it. So Facebook for Business has a website here, as you can see, the URL is at the top. Right. And um, I can create a page by clicking create a page. And then inside of this, you can go to business or brand or community or public figure. For this, uh, for a real estate agent, we would wanna do business or brand. So we'll hit get started. And then you name your page. So if it's, you know, Brandon Hurst Realtor, that would be it. And then category could be, you know, real estate, right? Real estate agent. From there, you'd put your address and it's going to guide you step by step. Okay. But the first step to doing that is going to the facebook.com slash businesses or sorry, slash business slash pages slash set dash up set up. Okay. So once we have our business page created, hi, Jeffrey. <laughs> connecting to audio you're connected okay good all right so i was just going over how to create the facebook business page as the very first step um through facebook's website right so uh, you can create a page go step by step and then once we have a facebook business page we're going to sync our facebook account with command and for any program you're syncing in command, you'll wanna go to Brandon Hurst or your name, obviously at the top right, and then down to, oh, it's on the okay. and then uh, Jeffrey, you're, you're unmuted, just so you know. No, I'm not. <laughs> so um, you'll go to your name settings, and then inside of here, you'll see all of your applications that you can connect to command. So there's DocuSign, there's Facebook for post scheduling. This is for Facebook posts on your business page. So you'll want to uh, connect. Okay, mine is already connected, but if you don't have it connected, you would click connect and it would follow the prompt for you to log into your Facebook page, okay? Uh, and then it'll come over here. This will show your name. Okay, it's going to connect to your main Facebook page. 
and you don't need to worry about telling it which Facebook business page to connect to. You'll, it'll automatically pull that information from your Facebook account. So if I create, you know, Brandon Hurst, the realtor as my business page through my regular Facebook page, Brandon Hurst, it's going to show Brandon Hurst here. This is for posts. You're then going to scroll down, okay, to marketing automation. And that is where the ads manager for Facebook lives. So you do need to connect it in both places. And you'll, again, click connect, account, log into your Facebook, and then it'll connect to your Facebook account. This way, when we go to the next step, which I've done a couple of command trainings on this, you know, posting the actual Facebook ad, you'll be able to do it. So again, you do need to create a business page. You can't post Facebook ads to your regular Facebook account. Uh, it takes a less than 10 minutes to create a business page. And then once you've done that, you sync it under your name and then settings. Okay. You can also sync everything else, all your other programs here, Gmail and Twitter and Twilio for texting. And then we're going to go over to campaigns on the left-hand side. So again, I like to click the red KW at the top left so that it shows me my options written out. That way I know I'm gonna to go to campaigns and I'm going to go ahead and highlight my mouse here so we can all see a little bit better with the orange. So in campaigns, we're going to, hey, it's Sahara. Woohoo, Sahara is here, everybody. She can't hear me yet. Sahara is here, woo -woo. <laughs> Sahara, do you have a business page? Yes. A Facebook business page? Okay, good. And have you synced your Facebook with your command yet? No. No? Okay. So I, I was just telling everybody that you go to your name at the top right, and then you go to settings. Well, okay. okay. Uh, and then you're going to go to, you know, to your name, settings, and then in there you'll see your applications that you can connect. Oh, yes. I might have and done that. You might have, yeah. But that's where you'll okay. go to sync your Facebook account. And then okay. we're going to move to the next step here, which is how to post a Facebook ad. Okay. So okay. inside of campaigns, you'll go to paid ads. Okay. They refer to them as paid ads or social ads. And then you're going to go to create a new campaign. It's going to ask you to choose your campaign type. And for this purpose, we're going to do a social ad. And it says paid underneath, right? Paid ad, social ad. It immediately goes to this next screen here where you enter a campaign name. And so I'll put test, but for you, you put whatever makes sense so that you can organize this ad. So if it's your farm area or if it's, you know, a specific type of Facebook ad, you'll want to put that as your campaign name. Uh, it won't show anywhere except for you. This is for your purpose here. Um, then you're going to put in your goal. So if your goal is to advertise a new listing or uh, attract listings, right? You're looking to attract sellers. Uh, attract buyers, so on and so forth. You can choose from these options here, or you can choose other. I'm going to go advertise listing just to show you the cool part of this Facebook ad uh, being connected in command to the listing service. So we'll do advertise listing. Uh, and then you go ahead and put where your campaign will run. So we're going to choose Facebook. Okay. If your Facebook account is not connected, it'll definitely remind you that it's not you won't be able to hit the next step until you connect your Facebook account. And what's really great about this, this is a new feature in, in command. If you have never posted a Facebook ad, you get $25 off your first Facebook ad of $75 or more. So you basically get $75 worth of Facebook ads for 50 bucks. Okay, so this is new. And this is for everybody that logs into command that's never done an ad before. Um, so we're going to go to choose Facebook, and then the next step is set up campaign. How much does an ad normally cost? Uh, you, you get to tell it. You get to put how much you want it to spend every day. Oh, okay. Yeah. On average, the leads are about $1.50 to $2 per lead. That's about the cost that comes out per lead. So if you think from there, um, it just depends how many leads you want to get each day. Okay. Okay. Minimally, I'd say $5 a day is a good place to start. Uh, that'll give you 10 leads a week, right? In a five, oh, well, if you do five business days. Otherwise, it'll give you 14 leads in a week. 
which, you know, if you could get 14 verified leads, you probably could convert uh, one to two, right? One, yeah, <laughs> of those. But hey, I'll take one over zero. And if it's going to cost me, uh, you know, whatever the amount is, it's very little money, 20 right. bucks for one lead. I'd rather do that because that's a good, you know, commission check. Right. Um, all right. So you'll see once I selected set up campaign, it takes me to the screen here where it says property address and you can search by property address. This connects to the Keller Williams listing service. Now it is a little glitchy here where it says show only my listings. This feature is not working right of, of the moment. So if you do have a listing, you need to change this to all listings and it will connect to everybody's listing in the United States. So you need to search your property address. I like to use, I think, uh, Chuck Bowles listing because it's the only one I know right now. Uh, and I'm gonna hit search and you'll see here's the address. Even when I put the address in wrong, it still knows which one I'm trying to get, which is cool. I'm gonna hit select and it'll populate into the ad for me. It pulls the description from the MLS. It pulls the listing photo from the MLS. It's gonna pull that information for you, okay? And then you're going to enter your headline. And so headline is going to be the thing in bold here. And so you wanna be creative with what your uh, bold line says. So you can put anything, but um, you know, entering a headline, you know, uh, I don't know. This is a deal you don't want to miss out on. I don't know, something like that, right? And you just want to make people, you know, read, you know, get people excited about what you're, what you're selling. So I also like to use emojis, okay? Emojis are very popular nowadays, uh, especially with millennials, of course, uh, like myself. Uh, <laughs> so you want to use emojis in your description because it's the first thing people see and it gets people's attention, they stop on the post. I did it myself yesterday. The first, I will share a little something. I uh, was scrolling through my Facebook and an ad popped up, of course, through my feed. And it was about this uh, box of snacks that you can get every month. It's a mystery box of snacks from a different country. And it got me, I actually signed up for it. <laughs> and sure enough, there was you know an emoji in the description, which had me interested in the video that was right below that which is an unboxing of the box, right? Some guy opening his box that he got in the mail. And I was like, that looks cool. And I clicked learn more. And I was like, damn, they're good. And they got my information. Then sure enough, the moment I bought the box, every ad on my Facebook feed was about, you know, all these different uh, ship to home services, right? Ship food to your door, other snack box companies. I can't get it off of my feed now, but I fell for it. So who knows, I might get a box from Korea, you know, with some snacks this month. And um, the point that I'm sharing that is that it is effective. Unfortunately, people love emojis. Okay, not unfortunately, but it is kind of funny. So if we all know Easter is coming up on Sunday, I might want to use emojis that have to do with Easter. So I might put a bunny rabbit in. So you click the little smiley face in the bottom right hand corner of this box here, and you get all these emojis. They kind of look like the iPhone emojis but they don't actually look like this when you put them in. So if you were to do a bunny, right, then you put the bunny in, see how it changed. Um, you could take this bunny, I'm gonna just copy and paste it, but you could put bunnies, right? And instead of must see this beautiful five bedroom, maybe you wanna put on uh, something cute, like hop on over to this beautiful five bedroom, right? Easter themed, hop, hop, hop. Uh, and then you might want to put, you know, uh, this sweet deal won't last for long, right? Candy. And I would put after the sweet, maybe some emojis of chocolate. Yeah, there we go. Why not? Where did my chocolate emoji go? Uh oh. Oh. Oh, because I've reached my maximum characters. Okay. You get my point. So yeah. you'll you'll make it to the, the correct amount of characters, but let's just put in a chocolate because I want to see now what the chocolate bar looks like. I'm just curious. Yeah. There we go. I don't know if that really looks like chocolate, so maybe choose a different candy. To me, that looks kind of, I don't know what that looks like, but you get my point. 
use yeah. fun emojis, have it be something relevant to what people are already looking forward to, have it be, you know, current, that's going to have you have more people and more impressions, at least it may not get people to click on the ad. But if you get more people looking at your ad, then you're going to have a better, you know, lead capture. So uh, in the description, there's really a there's use suggestion here. The only suggestion they have is this, you could be coming home to this. So I'd get a little more creative with that description. And then you're going to save your ad text. So I'm going to put something in here. Otherwise, it won't let me hit save. You'll also notice on the left here, the blue check marks, these blue, they turn blue when this section is filled out completely. So you'll see here under Facebook ad, it's white and there's no blue check mark. This tells me that I need to click on this and fill out whatever I need to fill out before I can post my Facebook ad. So this is where you'll see that it connects to my Facebook. Okay, yes, I am Nicole Grant. I know I don't look the same, but I am Nicole. And Nicole is right here, her business page. It's funny, both Nicole and Trish have called me while I'm on this webinar. They've clearly forgotten that I lead these. Um, so Nicole's account populated, and then when I go to page, look at the business page that pops up. See how it pulled that from the main account? So for you, it'll do the same. And then right here, off to the right, it changes here to Keller Williams Realty Inglewood is the one posting the Facebook ad. For you, it would be your name and your picture, okay, whatever you put on your business page. So um, you'll choose this. You're going to scroll to the next step, which is your destination. And you set a destination for the people viewing your ad. They re command recommends you using a Facebook lead generation form. The reason being is when they click learn more, it'll auto populate a lead form, a generation form that has their name, phone number, email address already put in from what Facebook already verified. So um, Say that again, use Facebook lead generation form? Yeah, okay. yeah, rather than okay. having them go to a landing page, right? So if you were to, if they were to click learn more and it took them to a landing page where they had to type in their phone number and email okay. address, okay. you're not going to get the same kind of leads, right? You're going to get people putting in fake phone numbers or they're going to not give you any information, right? Because they'll get weirded out that they have to type in their information. But by using a Facebook lead generation form, it already is in there. And when for, just like psychologically, when people see their information already there, it's easy. They don't have to do anything. All they have to hit is okay, right? So they just move on to the next step and you get better leads because it's already verified. Their phone number is already verified. Their email is already verified, okay? So that's why we use a lead generation form through Facebook. You can't customize what the fields say, right? It's just name, phone number, email address. So but I don't know what else you would really need. Um, now, you can change your button name where it says learn more. You can have it either say sign up or apply now. So I think probably depending on the ad is where you would choose, but learn more seems to be a good one. And then you put your follow up destination URL. So although it's using a Facebook lead generation form, everyone, you do need to have a website that it takes them to with, with if they were to click right here next to the learn more button or click on the learn more button. It is still gonna take them somewhere after they hit okay. So it'll capture their information, but then you need to have them go to a website after that, okay? So this is where you'll use the landing pages through command to create a neighborhood snapshot or if you are doing a listing ad, you could promote your listing. You could do a, a, a page for just your listing, right? And it has your information. Um, or you could do a neighborhood snapshot, right? Where it takes them to a page and talks about the neighborhood statistics in 90302 and how many houses are for sale. Just give them something of value. That way they don't feel like you took their information and gave them zero. So here's where you will either choose, if you click choose site, it's gonna give you a drop down of landing pages that you've created in command. I did lead a webinar on how to create landing pages and it is in the YouTube channel and the playlist, uh, Command Training. I'm happy to go over it with you one-on-one -on -one as well if you need support, but um, they're pretty easy to create. So once you've created one, you would select the uh, landing page, okay? And you'll see it populates it into the ad. Um, and then you target your ad targeting here. So I'm gonna use custom settings that's interesting. It started, it's now defaulted. It's very interesting. So the, this is new in command here. 
if you put in a listing, it defaults to the city that your listing's in. Okay. It automatically puts this location in for you. So let's say I wanted to do a 20 mile radius of Riverside, but you could also turn on custom settings. Now, custom settings will allow you to target a specific city and a specific radius. So a 15 mile radius is the smallest radius you can use. Um, after all the craziness with Facebook and the election, they got in trouble. They can't, you cannot hyper target people with ads now. You can only go 15 miles from a specific area. So uh, you'll put 15 mile radius of whatever city you choose. Uh, and then you'll go down to expert targeting. And this is where you'll put in people's interests. So this is what are people searching for on Google already, right? What are they already going to be searching for if they're looking to purchase a home? or if they're thinking about selling their home. Well, they might be thinking about mortgages, right? They might be looking up mortgage loans. They might be looking up mortgage calculator, um, maybe even reverse mortgage, I don't know. But you can choose targeting that would make sense so that you get your ad in front of the right people, okay? This is what is going to have you get better quality leads. If you put an interest called real estate right? Look how big the audience is for that. Real estate broker, for example, okay? 128 million people versus reverse mortgage, which is 300,000. So you're going to get people, if you put real estate broker or HGTV or fix or flip or those kind of things, you're going to get the kind of people when you call them that are like, oh yeah, I've got $5 in my bank account and I want to buy a million dollar house. Can you help me? You're going to get those type of leads. So you got to be really, uh, you know, uh, good at targeting who you want to show the lead, the ad to. Okay. And you can Google as well. I mean, you could Google top trending interests, but again, you don't necessarily want your ad in front of everybody. Just because you get a thousand impressions and 20 leads doesn't mean those 20 leads are going to be good leads. So this has a lot to do with posting an effective Facebook ad is who you're showing it to. So be careful when you put your expert targeting in. All right. Once you do, you're going to click safe. Oh, sorry. You're going to, I have to put a location in. So I am going to choose Riverside after all I've caved in. You're going to click save Facebook ad. And then you can see everything is uh, checked off here. Okay. You got your listing, you got your check boxes, your ad is over here on the right. You can see the Facebook preview or the mobile version of the ad. This is most likely what most people will see, right, on their phone. And then you'll go ahead and publish the campaign. And when you publish, it will connect to your Facebook account, post the ad for you. And let's go back to paid ads. I'm not going to do that. Your ad will show up here next time you go to campaigns. Under paid ads, it's going to show up here. And it'll tell you the duration of your ad, uh, the, I guess this is probably like clicks per minute. I don't know, CPM, CPC, CPLC. Total spend, right? How much you've spent so far on the ad. And then at the top here, it'll tell you how many impressions you've gotten. So that's how many people looked at your ad. And then if any leads were captured, right? And then you see this little box with the arrow. If you click on that, it'll take you to the section of command where your leads will be listed. So the moment you capture a lead, it'll automatically upload that as a contact in your database. And it'll have their name, phone number, email address, right? From there, you could go in and add a tag to them. Maybe it's Facebook lead, right? Or, you know, whatever. And you can also apply a smart plan in uh, an auto email that goes out to them. Okay, you could create a smart plan for Facebook leads that maybe is an introduction email from you saying, hey, Thank you so much for your interest in the property at da, 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 da. I'd love to speak with you more. When can we talk? And have that be the first email and then wait four days and send another email, right? You could set the smart plan up for your Facebook leads. So that is the how to sync your Facebook business page and how to post effective Facebook ads webinar. Any questions? Any questions? I know I go fast. I've been told that I go fast. I'm trying to slow down here. <laughs>
Uh, any so, questions, comments? On the contact page where it says tags, um, I was putting like buyer and, and seller. So am I doing that wrong? Putting my contact in? Uh, you, no, you could, you could, you could do whatever tags you want. Okay. Um, for Facebook leads, right? You don't know if they're a buyer or a seller yet, right? Yeah. So maybe wait till you tag them. But um, you can put more than one tag is the other thing. So you could oh, tag okay. them Facebook lead and buyer. That way you know that those set of buyers or sellers are coming from the Facebook leads okay. or Facebook ads. Okay. okay. Uh, anybody else? Io, Sahara, Jeffrey, I know you don't have any questions, so I'm not going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, this, this recording will be available on YouTube. I have a couple others in there. Please, please watch them. And then our next class, I just want you all to know, because uh, I just found out that the shift call today is canceled. And so we will not be having a shift call with Nicole. Uh, it will be resuming on Tuesday. Okay. okay. Uh, but tomorrow we have our market update with Tom Corcoran in the morning. That's a great class. We have command at the evening or afternoon. And in that one, I'm going to talk about how to do direct mail campaigns, okay, postcards. Okay. And we have Ignite, which, Jeffrey, I need to confirm you if you can lead it tomorrow. We move session eight to tomorrow. But we'll talk offline. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll okay. see you soon. Thank you for being on the webinar. All right. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 <laughs>